Hi everyone, I'm so glad you found this channel. Today we are going to introduce political sociology and then we'll look at the features of political sociology and its scope. So, before we start um, by describing what political socialization is, I wanted to request you, if you haven't subscribed, kindly please do subscribe and also um, follow me on Instagram at Lady Lecturer um, for more interaction. Okay? So, I know you do that, so thank you so much. So, let's start. Political socialization is the process by which political culture is transmitted in a given society. It is a lifelong process. Okay? A variety of individuals contributes to its shape, shaping effect. It seeks to understand the process of interaction between government and society, decision-making authorities, and conflicting social forces and interests. It is the study of interactions and linkages between politics and society, between a political system and its social, economic, and cultural environment. It is concerned with the problems regarding the management of conflict, the articulation of in interest and issues, and political integration and organization. So, um, according to both Lipset and Ranchimen, they have fixed the timing of the birth of political sociology at about the middle of the 19th century when, you know, the world was under the impact of industrial revolution. So the tradition, the traditional European social order gave in to modern society, okay? Political sociology is a child from the marriage between political sociology and or rather political sociology is a child um, from the marriage between sociology and political science the distinction between political science and sociology corresponds to the distinction between state and society okay political so political science and sociology corresponds to the distinction between state and society and in explaining that point we say that political science starts with the state and examines how the state affects the society, while political sociology starts with the society and examines how the society affects the state. So um, let's look at the two features of political sociology and it's according to Lipset and Bendings and they say that political sociology studies the relation between the social and the political. Okay, and then the second one is that the political cannot be understood unless it is related to the social. The whole argument amounts to this definition of political sociology. Political sociology is a discipline that tries to understand political phenomena by necessarily relating them to their social determinants. Okay, so let's um, look at um, the scope of political sociology and political sociology is concerned with the way in which political arrangements depend on social organizations and cultural values. They are interested in the participation of individuals in politics. The discipline is also concerned with why and how an individual's vote has public opinion or even why you are individual vote has public opinion from and belongs to political associations and groups that support political movement and you see that is the reason why as to why you support this maybe political movement and you don't support this other political movement and someone else will support political movement b and not movement a or parties for that matter so, the scope of the discipline also includes different types of organized groups in politics and the interactions that they have amongst themselves, and also the influence of parties and movements in changing or bringing about stability in the political system, because you also realize that parties and movements play a very huge role in bringing stability in any country. Okay, so... Um, Wow, it is not happening. Okay, 
Okay, so um, an important concern of political sociology is the decision-making process through public means. In this process, it takes into account not only the social forces, but also includes the economic factors that are regulated by forces such as money, market, and other resources that are in scarce. Political sociology also analyzes whether the person occupying the decision-making process has enough grip over the people on whom they are exercising their authority, okay? Or maybe their legitimacy. Now, moving on, and we are still looking at the scope of political sociology, it also deals... <coughs> Excuse me. It also deals with the analysis or rather analysis of the functions of various political structures in the political system from a structural functionalist perspective. Political sociology concentrates on the phenomenon of power and its related aspects. Power is a universal and an important aspect of social interaction which is necessary in shaping the relationship between individuals and members of a group. Political sociology also deals with the study of elites and their leadership styles. The elites govern the masses as well as provide them leadership with leadership the discipline concentrates on the patterns and styles of leadership exhibited by the elites which are necessary to maintain their positions of power and maybe if you are more interested in the elites way of governing you can look at the elite theory of um, public policy i have a video on that check the playlist section and you'll find it it's on the policy public policy part. Well, that was that was just a by the way. And so moving on, another major concern of political sociology is to study the impact of the political culture on the political system. The concepts of political culture refer to those underlying propensities that accelerate or retard the pace of performance of the political system. Political participation and political mobilization also from the scope of political sociology. So um, it also looks at it also looks at political participation and political mobilization. Sorry, from the scope of political sociology. And as we finish, another important aspect that is covered by this topic is social stratification. It studies different social stratification systems such as class caste, gender, and status, and analyzes their impact on organized politics. We really can't, you know, we really can't um, talk about politico political socialization without taking a look at social stratification. So political sociology also analyzes the political dynamics, which consists of the study of political parties, pressure groups, interest groups, public opinion and propaganda that influence and manipulate the attitude and political behavior of individuals. The process of change, which in the social dimension refers to modernization is also another focal point of political sociology okay political development is also an important area of discussion in political sociology it refers to a process through which a political system acquires new roles and value in a society so guys you realize that we really can't exhaust um, what political sociology really looks at so you can go and read further on it, but I hope this video gave you a basis and a proper introduction to what political sociology really is, okay? If you have any questions, you can comment below there and let me know and I'll get back to you immediately. And like I said, kindly guys, subscribe. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram, at Lady Lecturer, please do that and let's continue interacting more. I would really love this to be a space where we interact and talk about matters, political science, uh, public administration, government, governance, structures, um, international relations, and all, all that. I would also love to know you guys. So follow me on Instagram. So that's what I had for you for this video. Um, Thank you once again for clicking on it and always remember to work hard, be kind and stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next video or on Instagram. Bye bye.